It's not good. It's not good! Lens fungus. It's weird. It's definitely destructive, especially over time. And I think it's kind of interesting. So I thought it'd be a good thing to discuss. So let's talk about it. All right, so you heard about lens fungus. So by default, you head over to Google and you make your way to Reddit and maybe you finish the thousand posts that are on Reddit. Um, and eventually you'll hit some websites and maybe read every article on the internet and eventually find that B&H sells it too. So the big question is, is it something to worry about? And the answer really is multifaceted. Thankfully, there isn't any one factor that is certain to contaminate your lenses with lens fungus, but a collection of things that together create the right environment for various fungi to thrive. So I've put together a few things to keep in mind while you're exploring new areas that will hopefully not only reduce the potential of contaminating your lenses with something, but also will help just keep your gear in a better state. So I think the first thing we should talk about is environment and more specifically researching the terrain and knowing the terrain in a general form, just so you know what you're getting into. And second, prepare for the unknown. I know this is kind of vague, but it's important to carry that extra microfiber cloth or lens wipe if you can, just so you're prepared. And third, know the weather both locally and regionally as well. Conditions can change quickly, and I think it's important to consider this to keep your gear as best protected as possible. But of course there's more. We have to talk about the most important thing, and that is cleaning. So most of us don't always film or shoot in clean, controlled environments, and things are bound to get dirty. And that's, in my opinion, the sign of progress when you're out experimenting in different environments. So having a good cleaning routine, in my opinion, is the best way to keep contaminants such as dust and, of course, fungi spores and other things off of your lens. Cleaning regularly, such as after every outing, also reduces the chance of those contaminants and particles working themselves into the inner side of the lens, like behind the front element. Once dust is inside the lens, the only real way to successfully clean that is if you have the lens serviced. So the idea of having regular cleaning routines is to keep the dust in check from the start. So now that we've talked about environment and cleaning, I think it's also important to mention storage. Storing your camera in the right place not only keeps it safer and cleaner, but also reduces the chance that little fungus spores are able to thrive. And no one wants thriving fungus spores. I know everyone seems to have a different opinion about this, but hear me out. Okay, so silica packs are something I definitely recommend, especially ones with the indicator gels to let you know that the adsorption process is complete and that it's time to change them out. However, long-term storage in sealed, uncontrolled, dark environments like this soft bag here are never recommended. This is because if moisture, whether it's on your gear or in your bag, can get trapped and eventually create the right environment for things like fungal spores to grow. If you're lucky enough to live in a dry or semi-arid environment, I'm jealous, but for the rest of us that live in places like the American South where hot, subtropical, humid climates are common, a dry cabinet might be beneficial. This way, not only do you keep your gear clean and protected, but you can also control the relative humidity that your gear is exposed to, even if the outside humidity is complete madness. This is the idea that an environment that has less moisture is generally better for your camera, lenses, filters, and other things. Of course, I couldn't end this without mentioning frequency. The more you use your camera and your lenses and your filters, the more you'll understand their needs and their condition. After all, these things are made to be used, and they're weather sealed for a reason, so by capturing anything and everything, you're using your camera and your lenses to their fullest. So make an excuse to get out and enjoy the process of creating, wherever that is. Okay, so circling back to whether or not you should worry, the quick answer is no. Lens fungus, mold, dirt, those things, in my opinion, are the result of complete neglect in all forms. I know something crazy like lens fungus can be intimidating, something that can wipe out your entire kit and cost you thousands of dollars. But let me assure you, if you're preparing properly, if you're cleaning regularly, if you're storing your equipment in the right location, and if you're using it frequently, you shouldn't have to worry. Period. So go out, take awesome photos, film awesome things, and enjoy the creative process. 
Try not to worry about your equipment too much. It can handle it. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. It lets me know if you like the content and if I should keep creating like this or go in a different direction. And if you have any thoughts, please feel free to shout them below. Subscribe if you'd like to. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.